What's up guys, welcome back to Let's Play Thousand Arms. In our last episode, we figured out that the town of Langoud was actually a ship. It was pretty awesome. In this episode, we're walking around, just kind of killing time before, well, the big pirate banquet. So, this is character plot and all that kind of crap. You know, plot development. It's silly. Oh, so, whoa, what? I didn't even recognize this. Or I didn't see this. Probably knew about this before, but, uh, whatever. What's here? What are you? <laughs> I know, I'm trying to talk to people, but you won't let me. I'm gonna take my photo with that frame today. You can make photo stickers with that print club machine. It'll cost you 300 GG for a picture. There's so many frames to choose from. Which one should I pick? All of them! Hey, buddy. Wait your turn! So, whatever. We have to wait our turn. Let's see what would they say again. Take another picture. I want to take a picture. All right. Well, looks like we're not gonna take a picture. We hey, I swear in it, eat. Come back to my room. Wow. That you know that would be like really awkward if he was like, "We're ready to eat. Come back to my room." Hey, mice. Just you, mice. So, I mean, I, didn't, I really didn't even get to do much, honestly. So, oh well. Hmm. So, I have a feeling I'm missing something. So, oh well. If I'm missing something, I'm sorry. It just happens. Oh, I, I, I know what we missed. Elevators working again. That's what we missed. So, everything's easier now. We just have to remember to go back up to the control tower. We don't have to leave right away. We can actually just go and have a little bit of fun and see what's up. See what's going on. Now you're walking at my... Now I'm walking at her speed. I feel like I'm running for no particular reason. Mice walks like a doofus. You guys notice that? I mean, like, walk like a doofus. Walking like a doofus. But when he runs, he looks like, you know, his running animation. Ah ha! I'm lost! Ah, there you are! <laughs> I thought I lost you forever, mice. Ugh, oh, that was scary. That was scary. I don't know why Wine is following us around. I forget why she is. Believe it or not. I just... I don't know why she is following us around. But I'm going to check and see. Okay. Alright. Huh. Alright, yeah, we did actually miss something. Sorry, I just had to check a strategy guide. I know, I said I usually wouldn't use strategies, but I, I, I would... You're like the worst pirate ever, ever, Grapple. Nice. I lost her. 
She's gone! How did she catch up to me? I'm trying to lose her. Okay. Um, let's see. Second lookout area. Second. I mean, we could take the uh, elevator if we really wanted to. Hey, mice, we're ready to eat. Come back to my room. I know we're ready to eat, dude. I just wanted to uh, explore. Where's this? This is the second lookout. Okay, this is the guy we need to talk to. I met this weird old man at the volcanic island. He was saying that he can do something with kisses. Okay. Interesting. So, Grapple says that we should go up to his room because he's getting hungry. Well, it, you know, it's kind of him to, to wait to eat. I mean, you probably knew this already, but there's a bunch of guys even nastier than me that are causing problems. Mean guys. We'll talk later. Let's eat. Good. Glad. Mean guys, huh? I like the uh, like the sound of that. What's going on here? Who's this guy? Who the hell is this guy? Looks kind of stupid. Oh! Oh no! I'm sorry, General Bolt. Please forgive me. Hmm. It's all right. Don't worry about it. Yeah, everybody makes mistakes. Be more careful next time. General Bolt is so chivalrous and sagacious. <laughs> uh oh. Oh no. Oh my. W what? <laughs> what? What did you say? Sagacious isn't an insult. It's not an insult. No, I don't understand what you said. Are you making fun of me? Bolt is definitely an idiot. I don't like difficult words. Not many people do. Hell, some people have a problem have problems with your and your and their, there and there. Those aren't difficult words at all. Kill off his whole crew? I think he did. Whew. What happened? I don't remember anything. Uh. Uh oh. How about Barrick? He's hopeless. Your name is Dark Master, <laughs> and you're like a teenager. You're hopeless too. Freaking name is Dark Master. <sighs> Whatever. Oh, this is like the best dinner party ever. <laughs> quite a spread. Quite, quite the spread. <laughs> Arr, of course they're beautiful. They are descended from the most beautiful women of the world. What? What do you mean? There's used to be pirates. Oh 
Okay. <laughs> oh yeah. Which is it is a really big cannon. What about her? Okay, we have two choices. Um Uh, a is actually the best choice. B would just kind of upset him. Ugh. Aww. Aww. Daddies love their daughters. Ah, uh, mice can't leave her alone. Maybe she will. Where is Weena anyway? <laughs> it's a dragon, huh? It's getting tired. has a crush on her and he fell asleep he's asleep well, of course <laughs> are you her mother probably Okay, let's get going. And leave discreetly. My old man is so old-fashioned. He still thinks a girl's dream is to get married and have kids. Ha! You gotta be kidding! Wow, quite some depth to you. What's wrong with a girl living her own life? Uh, I'm gonna get in trouble if I say anything. So, uh, 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 I don't know. Actually, nothing. There's nothing wrong. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. I want to follow my own path. You do? Why? She is wearing an eye patch on her different eye. Maybe. Looks like a big ravioli. Alright, let's go take some print club pictures. Yay! Print club pictures. Do, do, do. We finally can. So let's do it. No, I have a knife. Or sword. <laughs> the volcanic island! We're almost there! Nice! Get ahead. Can I see? <gasps> we are! Awesome! Volcanic island, which has some kind of thing there. Alright, and that was a small tutorial on places that we can land when we use the land gouge.
later in the game. Spoiler alert. Um, yeah, you can do it. Take me with you. I know I can help you. Hmm. Okay. She can come with us. That's cool. But first, let's just uh do this. Let's make all of um. Uh, let's go forge with her. Our new girl. Our new girl. Yeah, I got her. The new girl. Yeah, I got her. The new girl. Alright. Okay, so uh, I have 694 MP, so let's forge some stuff. Ooh. Why not? Which weapon would you like to forge? We, we get some great spells. Great spells. Fire and sleep, both are good spells. We should make sure to get both of them. So, let's do that. Now, that's going to change our, fire, our attribute to fire. And, well, that won't be so bad around here, if I'm not mistaken. But, two spells, fire and sleep, are very, very important to have. So... I don't know. I just think it's a good idea to try to get most of the spells for everyone in the game. Oh, excuse me. Yeah, let's forge another one. I'm going to try to forge everyone's weapon before we leave. And I forgot to point this out. There's actually uh, something that I need to grab, uh, believe it or not. And I need to go to Wina's room to get that. So we're going to have to find Wina's room. And that's not too hard to find. We'll be able to do it. So. Alright. Now Wina herself needs uh, spells too. So. Um, let's see if all of our weapons are forged. Nope. Nope. Nothing needs to be forged. So everyone, everyone's attribute right now is fire, which isn't such a bad thing. Now let's, uh, we don't need to forge any weapons right now. So fire and sleep are two decent spells that we should have. I mean, not everyone can cast spells, but honestly, I think that casting spells is kind of a, uh, uh, kind of a good thing. Uh, I think that sleep even though it doesn't work all the time and especially in this game sleep is kind of iffy to use uh, it, it's an effect but I mean we'll have that spell just because for the sake of completion now there is an item uh, that I want to pick up and it's a good item so this is a good item to pick up, and let's use the elevator. Hop on there. That just seems like a very dangerous thing to hop onto. I I would not be okay with that at all. Now we need to find Wina's room. I think I already found it once before, but well, I don't know. I'm I'm confused, honestly. So this place is kind of cool right here. Let's pass this door. Oh, it's the boss's room. It's Grapple's room. Elemental spirit. That's what I needed. It's an elemental spirit. Okay. 
locker room is right here. Should be at least. It needs its own separate hallway. It's that special. So we have to search here. The stuffed animal. Why? Because there's something in it. The hand woven sweater, which is a well, let's say a date item in a way. I promise not to. Actually, it's not a, a date thing. It just raises Wina's intimacy level without even having to go on a date with her, which is kind of cool, honestly. Um, I don't think there's any other character like that in the game. Like I said, I really like Wina's character a lot. She's a good character. And before we move on, I would like to actually show talk about Wina for a little bit. So let's, uh, no, I don't Okay, Wina is level 13. She has a hammer, and she has all right offense and defense. Now, let's see if she has any accessories or anything. Nope, nothing. Any specials? No, not no specials yet. But she does have fire and sleep. Um, Wina is also another physical beater like I've brought up before. She has the same amount of health as... Uh, well, close to the same amount of health as mice. She is a tank, just like Musa. And mice, like I said, is an all-around guy. Um, you know, she has a high amount of HP, high amount of everything, has a good amount. She uh, just put her, you throw her in one battle, and she's already ready to go. Actually, to tell the truth, I would like to uh, have her in the party. Now, are we gonna have her over Sodina? I don't think so. Um, should we put her in the front row? Yeah, sure. Why not? Let's do that. Let's get her into the, some of the action right away, and I'll show her off once we get into a battle on the island. Now, we, uh, now, what am I trying to say? Um, okay. Alright, so, um, what, what am I trying to say? I can't even think today, guys. I just, ugh, cannot think. Usually that's the worst time to record, I would have to say, when you don't have anything to say. And that's usually, and that's usually not me for some reason. Eh, anyway. No, we don't need to go out there. Uh, we actually need to go through here. So, we raised Wina's intimacy right away. Let's see if that, well, let's see if any spells get added or anything. Everyone's attribute is fire right now, which I, hopefully that doesn't affect anything. Uh, we don't really have to worry about attributes too much yet, but we might have to a little bit later on. So that's why I kind of talk about attributes right now. Like, right now, I mean, you just have to beat the crap out of everyone and not worry about anything. Later on in the game, though, you really do want to have a well-rounded party filled with all kinds of peoples. Mario Van peoples. No! I did get lost! Where are you, mice? Okay. Where are you, boy? Oh, Roft. This isn't the place that I wanted to go to at all. This isn't the place I wanted to go to at all. Wrong, wrong place. Whoopsie. Um, yeah. Do, 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 do. We're taking the long way around. I know, I know, I know. It's the long way. But what can you do? It just happens that way sometimes. Okay. Plus, it gives us kind of a uh, nice little look around the place again. The Langout is actually kind of a cool place, and it kind of does become like a home base. I mean, they have a lot of items available and all that, so it's kind of cool. I like that. I like that you have a home base in a way, not just kind of a place to travel. 
Like, uh, like in a lot of other RPGs, it's just sort of like, oh, you have a ship. But it doesn't have a hotel, or a smithy, or anything like that. So let's go into the smithy. I think that there's more uh, spells that we can actually get, believe it or not, for her intimacy being level 2. So let's forge a weapon and see what happens. Oh, wow. Why not? Which weapon would you like to forge? Yeah, see? <laughs> that is good. Um, cure and might gut. So, yeah, we want to give everyone cure, which is great because sometimes these spells cross over. And might guts is a good spell to have. You know, I was worrying about that. Yeah, cure and might guts. We're gonna want that for everyone. Might guts is a is a uh, buff spell, if I'm not uh, mistaken, and it's just good for everyone to have. I mean, some people, uh, some characters can get more out of it. Like uh, Sodina won't be able to get much out of it, but if you put mice in the background and uh, in the back row and then put it and then uh, put it like on like Wiener or something then my guts is uh, very very good all right so everyone has cure and my guts if they didn't have that before so that's the advantage uh, if I were you guys I would check every level and uh, let's see here yeah my guts offensive power of person increases so my guts is something that's very good to have. So I'm checking the elemental spirit. Yeah. Barrier. I mean, barrier is a spell that you have to get from Sodina from level one, if I'm not mistaken, or level two. One of those two. Um. Actually, I need to go back to the smithy because I need to do something really quick, which is honestly gonna be wasting. Um gonna be wasting a little bit of points but I was thinking about it and I'm like I kind of need to do this so which weapon would you like to forge yeah see how I would like to give wine a barrier too just so she just so when I throw her in the back row she's fine okay so wind and barrier um, no. So, Wind and Barrier is now what she has, so I have to cha actually change that attribute back to Fire. I'd like to, just because. For kind of no reason, honestly. I, I know, I'm very meticulous on this. Um, yeah. And honestly, it doesn't cost much to change things back, so... But it's, it's kind of good to give everyone sort of the spells, just so there's options available. I mean, I do this on Final Fantasy VI also. I have everyone have some time with each Esper, just so that they can have... Just so they're all well-rounded on spells. And I know that some characters use them uh, better than others, but uh, it's just... I don't know. It's, it's something that I like to do. And I love the fact that you have the option that you're able to do something like that in this game. That's why I love this game. Um, I mean, it's it's not a completely um, terrible game, but I love it personally, despite all of its flaws and everything like that. All right, guys, um, it's getting to be the end of the episode. Hopefully, I gave you guys enough information and everything like that to help you guys uh, keep going. Anyway. Next time on Thousand Arms, we are going to, right after we save, we are going to enter the Volcanic Island. So, I think I'll see you guys soon. Thanks for watching. Let's save really quick. And we're on chapter 6. 6. 6. 6. Doomed Encounter, the Disciple of the Dark.
All right, guys. It's been Rock Marvel. Thanks for watching. See you guys again soon.